Creating cheese is a multi-billion dollar industry, and you wouldn't believe how many different creative and unusual ways cheese is made. Here are 15 amazing ways cheese is made. Number 15. Kasumarzu Kasumarzu is not only one of the most unique cheeses you'll find anywhere in the world, but because of the way it's made, it's also the most dangerous and is illegal in a number of countries. It's a specialty cheese from the Italian island of Sardinia, and while the production process starts off in a similar way to other varieties, it soon takes an unexpected twist. To begin with, sheep's milk is heated and allowed to sit in a mold for three weeks so it begins to curdle. At this point, the crust is cut off and it's left out in the open, which attracts flies to lay their eggs in it, and then placed in a darkened room for several months, during which the time larvae hatch from the eggs and begin to eat the rotting cheese. The deposits they leave behind are what gives the cheese its soft texture and rich flavor, and a properly made kasumarzu will contain as many as a thousand maggots when it's served. When eating, it's important to make sure the maggots are still alive, because this is a sign that the cheese hasn't gone bad, and it's recommended that you only eat it with your eyes closed, just in case they jump up from your fork. Finally, you must make sure you properly chew all of the maggots, otherwise they can continue to live in your gut and eventually burrow their way out. Unsurprisingly, food hygiene laws means it's illegal to sell Kasumarzu in Italy or the rest of Europe, so if you're determined to get your hands on some, you have to get it through the black market. Number 14. Bitostorico Bitostorico is one of the oldest types of cheese in the world that's still regularly made, but due to the precise conditions needed to make it, it's only ever produced during the summer months. It comes from the Valtelline Valley in Lombardy, northern Italy, where the cows graze on alpine meadows during the warmer parts of the year. This is why the cheese has such a unique flavor, but it's not just made with whole cow's milk. Somewhere between 10 and 20% volume of goat's milk is also added. And this means that each wheel of cheese can be aged for 10 years or more, which is far longer than most other techniques. Due to variations in the fat content, however, it's down to the individual dairymen and their experience with the production process to know just how long it needs to be aged to create the best outcome. The final result is a creamy, hard cheese, with each wheel tasting slightly different depending on the grass that the cows were eating that day. It's an integral ingredient to the region's signature dish, pisocchieri, and it is in such high demand that it often sells out before even reaching store shelves. Number 13. Camel's Milk Cheese Most cheeses you eat will be made from the milk of cows or goats, but there's no reason why other milks can't be used instead. In recent years with improvements in technology, camel's milk cheese has become a popular luxury in fine dining, but it's not as easy or as cost-efficient to make. The reason for this is the milk's low fat content, which means that it produces far less cheese per volume than other milks. Traditional camel herding communities in the Sudan and Mongolia have long made curd by spontaneous fermentation, but tend to use it before it's turned into a recognizable cheese. To take it to the final stage, it's often combined with calcium phosphate, vegetable or camel rennet to help it coagulate, and produces a product that's surprisingly low in cholesterol and is easier to digest, even for those who are lactose intolerant. Number 12. Pul Cheese Pula is a crumbly white smoked cheese that is made in Serbia, but because of its rarity, it's become known as being the most expensive cheese in the world. It's made from Balkan donkey milk, a species that's critically endangered, and the only place where it's produced is the Zasavika Donkey Reserve. There, they have a herd of around a hundred of the animals, each of which are hand-milked, and proceeds generated from the cheese production are used to help fund conservation work. It takes around six and a half gallons of donkey's milk, then mixed with a similar quantity of goat milk, to produce 2.2 pounds of cheese. And that finished product will cost at least a thousand dollars. Even if you do have the funds to buy some, you still need to join a waiting list, because the reserve is so limited with how much it can make that people often have to wait a year or two before their order is fulfilled. Number 11. Milbenkäse Produced in the German city of Wirschwitz, Milbenkäse cheese is one of the most unique in the world, but its production process might not leave you clamoring to get a hold of some. The clue is in the name, which translated to mean mite cheese, and it's by using these small critters that the cheese takes on its distinct flavor. To begin with, balls of soft cheese called quarks are seasoned with salt and caraway, before being placed in a wooden box with rye flour and cheese mites. They're left there for three months, during which time the mites eat some of the cheese and excrete an enzyme that causes it to ripen. 
said to taste similar to other German soft cheeses, but with a bitter and zesty aftertaste. If it's made correctly, there will be mites still hanging on to the rind when it's served, and these are meant to be eaten along with the cheese. It's a tradition that dates back as far as the Middle Ages and remains popular to this day. Number 10. Tomé Marc de Raison Tomé Marc de Raison begins as a traditionally produced Tomé cheese from the region of Savoy in France. But when it comes to aging, things are done a little differently, for an even richer taste. It's made from cow's milk, but the skimmed liquid that remains after the cream has been removed to make butter and richer cheeses. As a result, it has a much lower fat content, is pressed uncooked, and it's first matured for between three and six months. After this, it's further aged under a coating of grape marc, which is the residue that's left over after squeezing fruits in the winemaking process. The leftover grape juices permeate through to the cheese to enrich the flavor, and it's often served with the grape skins for visual effect. Number 9. Stinking Bishop Cheese Stinking Bishop Cheese is a popular type of soft cheese that comes from the Hunts Court Farm in Gloucestershire, England. It's made from the milk of Gloucester cattle. And when the cheese was first invented in 1972, there were only 68 of the heifers in the entire world. Even though the herd has now increased to around 250, they don't produce enough milk to keep up with demand, so it's often mixed with milk from Frisian cattle from a nearby farm, which also increases the fat content to around 48%. What's particularly unusual about the production of Stinking Bishop, however, and the reason why it has such a distinctive odor, is what happens when the cheese is being washed while it's ripening. Instead of using water or fresh milk, alcoholic perry that's made from locally grown Stinking Bishop pears is used, resulting in a flavor unlike any other cheese. As an artisanal product, only around 20 tons of Stinking Bishop is made each year, and it's very hard to get a hold of outside the UK. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Tofu Gouda Particularly in recent years, the demand for vegan alternatives to dairy products has skyrocketed. While cheese used to be something that was only available to those who were able to consume milk products, a number of alternatives have now been created, one of the most unusual being tofu gouda. Said to taste just like the real thing, there are no animal products used in its creation, and instead relies on a mixture of tofu and, surprisingly, potatoes. Also needed are vegan butter, soy milk, paprika, mustard, and seasoning, which all combine to create the closest thing to cheese that you can make without using traditional ingredients. The increasing demand for products like this means we're just on the cusp of a whole new revolution of cheese-producing techniques. And the more this happens, the closer we'll get to something that tastes so good, you won't be able to tell the difference. Number 7. Reindeer Cheese Finland is such a cold country throughout most of the year that it's not feasible to farm cattle on the same scale as it is elsewhere. But rather than importing huge quantities of cow milk, a lot of their cuisine has been based around milk from other sources, one of which is reindeer. It's one of the most nutritious milks you can get, as a result of the importance of the animals to pass on as much as possible to the young in the freezing environment. So, has a 22% butterfat and 10% protein. This is ideal for producing cheese with, but the problem faced by farmers is that reindeer don't actually produce much milk each day. At most, there'll be enough to fill just one and a half cups. The effort is worth it, though, because the resulting cheese is delicious. Almost half its weight is made up of fat, and it has the consistency of a cream cheese. It's very creamy and melts in your mouth, but you'll only ever want to eat it in small quantities because of how rich it is. Number 6. Montebourg Cheese There's no doubt that cheese has been an integral part of French and Italian culture for hundreds of years, and many of the world's greatest artists have always found comfort and inspiration from the foodstuff. Not tempted by the typical run of the mill cheeses, they often go for something more elaborate. And it's hardly a surprise that Leonardo da Vinci's favorite type, and one of his favorite gifts to give friends who were getting married, was as extravagant and artistic as any of his paintings or sculptures. Known as Montbor, it's made from cow's and sheep's milk, but is arranged in three tiers in a similar way to a wedding cake. Thought to have been inspired by the tallest tower in the village of Montbor, it has yeasty and sour flavors and detectable notes of mushrooms and nuts. It became popular for use in many different pasta dishes, but the precise process needed to bring out the flavors and to form its shape while it matures was almost lost for good. Following the Second World War, production substantially fell, and by the beginning of this millennium, there was only one person who had the recipe. Since then, it's made somewhat of a comeback, however. So if you want your very own Montbor for your wedding, you should be able to get a hold of some no matter where you live. Number 5. Irag Cheese 
Irag cheese is a popular dairy product in Central Asia where there aren't many cows, sheep, or goats, but there are plenty of horses that play a major role in day-to-day -day life. Horse milk, therefore, is in plentiful supply during foaling season and is collected and mixed with a fermenting agent to begin the cheesemaking process. Traditionally, the mixture would then be hung next to the entrance of the yurt where the family lived so they could stir it whenever they passed by, or it would be placed in a bag on a horse's saddle so it would be churned during the day's riding. Eventually, the fermented milk is boiled to make it curdle, then filtered through a fabric bag and pressed into shape. It's typically eaten fresh, but it's also dried to help preserve it for longer. If that's the case, then it would normally be served a tea or soup that it's dunked into to soften it. Number 4. Clausen Stilton Gold Stilton is a popular type of English cheese that's made in three of that country's counties from cow's milk and has a traditional recipe that has its roots all the way back to the 18th century. Since then, little has changed, but in 2011, one cheesemaker decided to update his ingredients to include something special for Christmas. Gold. Made at the Long Clausen Dairy, which is one of only six places that are allowed to produce cheese called Stilton, begins this new version like any other cheese, but during the process adds edible gold leaf and gold liqueur. Its creator admits that this doesn't do anything for the taste and it's just for novelty value, but it was proof that unusual elements can be added to cheese to make it a little more unique. As you'd imagine, with ingredients like this, the final product is significantly more expensive than normal Stilton, up to 67 times as much. But this didn't stop a number of high-profile clients, including an oil sheik and a pop star, from contacting him to inquire about buying some. Number 3. Charcoal Cheddar When you buy cheese, you typically expect it to be a color that's somewhere between white and gold and yellow but there are some production processes that result in something completely different. So much so that it hardly looks like cheese at all and would feel difficult trying to eat. Cheddar is one of the most popular types of cheese around the world thanks to its familiar texture and mild flavor. But in 2014, a farm shop in Leasingham, England adapted the traditional recipe to add activated charcoal, which makes the cheese a jet black color. It's an ingredient that's become commonly used in a range of products in recent years because of the supposed health benefits, but that wasn't the motivation for the creation of this cheese. Instead, the makers wanted to create a black cheese and look for the perfect ingredient to achieve this effect, because they knew it would be an unusual conversation starter. Those who have tried it says it's just as creamy and delicious as other cheddars, but there's division around the novelty of the color. Number 2. American Cheese American cheese is one of the most commonly used types of cheeses in the world, and it's part of many dishes across the US. But it's the way it's made that means cheese connoisseurs question whether it should actually be referred to as cheese at all. It was first created in the beginning of the 20th century, and usually has a base of cheddar or Colby. The cheese is ground up and mixed with emulsifying agents, preservatives, and various other chemicals, before being blended and heated until it turns into what's called a melted homogenous mixture. It needs to reach at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to fully pasteurize, and producers can precisely control the fat content, moisture, salt level, pH, and of course, the color of the final product. It's poured into a mold and thinly sliced, and is usually sold in individual wrappers, although large blocks can be bought too which look more like traditional cheese. Amazingly, in 2018, $2.77 billion worth of American cheese were sold in the U.S. alone, which shows just how popular it is. Originally, it was made by a blend of different cheeses, but since that method has ended, it's not actually allowed to be called cheese anymore and is instead legally referred to as processed cheese or cheese product, with the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations defining it as a type of pasteurized processed cheese. Number 1. Breast Milk Cheese As long as milk has a high enough fat content, it can be turned into cheese, but there are definitely some types of milk that are less palatable than others when it comes to deciding what you'd be happy to eat. In 2011, a temporary art installation at a New York gallery pushed the boundaries by offering breast milk cheese to its visitors, and the reception was surprisingly positive. Known as the Lady Cheese Shop, the student who arranged it took breast milk donations from three women who were nursing at the time, and first screened it to ensure there were no diseases. It was then heated up and pasteurized and turned into three different types of cheese, one called Westtown Funk, another called Midtown Smoke, that was the creamiest, and the final one called Wisconsin Chew that apparently had nutty flavors as a result of the vegetarian diet of the woman who produced the milk. For human consumption, human milk is in theory far healthier because of the nutritional balance is designed for our needs. 
Of course, there's a stigma over using it as an ingredient, so it's unlikely to catch on anytime soon while products from cows, sheep, and goats are still available. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.